Thank you. Thank you, Chantal, for sharing your powerful, powerful testimony. I just, I hope and pray that we've, like, learned something from what she said and that, you know, there's a lot of us that go through what you've been through. There is. And I just, I just, when we're in, when we're in the, the darkest <coughs> times of our lives, I just reach out to God because he's always there and he will never leave us. And he, even if you feel that you're in the darkest point where God's not there for you, he's still there. And she, she's proven, proven it. Thank you, hon. Thank you. We're now going to have our prayer session. It's going to be a bit different. Um, but prayer, we believe prayer is very, very important. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is working in this place, guys. Oh, wow. Thank you. Just play any Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Raphael. I'm a saxophonist. I've heard some great things about this event. First time I'm here. Um, so many people in here. <laughs> wow. Is this all for God? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Bless you, man. Bless you all. Um, I would just like to tell you one thing about my experience with God. Um, it was about 10 years ago when I was a bit, you know, I was feeling a bit lost, you know? You got that crisis when you get like, 20 years old, you're that feeling like you don't have a mission in life, you don't know what you're gonna do with your life, and you wanna... I was planning, I was planning my end, yeah? I was planning my end. And somehow the enemy put all those images in my mind. And I was in this retreat of the church, because I was born in the church, and Christian family, all that. And I was asking God, I saw all these people with missions, and preachers and all these people and it's just I didn't know what I was gonna do. And they asked God, what am I gonna do with my life? What is my mission? Because I, I was not good with words. I was not good with anything. I was just good with this piece of thing in here, saxophone. <laughs> I said And tell you what, after crying, 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 crying and more crying and shouting at God like I'm, you know, shouting really mad at God, telling me, what's my mission, God, what's my mission, really fighting. And then, I open my Bible, and it comes this passage in Habakkuk. If you don't have a Bible, I encourage you to get one. And if you have one, I encourage you to read it, because it changed my life. <laughs> right? And that was... I want you to I want to encourage you to open that. It's uh, if you don't have a Bible, it doesn't matter. It's Habakkuk two one, right? It talks about the vision. It talks about visions. I tell you what, if you have a vision, if you have a dream, follow what is in there. I'm from Portugal, I'm not from here. I am here because of that passage, because I did exactly what it says in there. It says, write down the vision, and it put it very clear, and it shall not delay, tell you what. 2010, was it 2000? No, 2013, I came to do an audition in here, in, Bur in Birmingham. And I said to God, God, this, if this, I was very, I'm like this with God, you know? I'm like, God, if you want me to come here, show me, show me. <laughs> I'm not this dream kind of person, you know, I'm God for me is like real stuff, you know. Yeah. So I said, God, show me, show me. If it's for me to be here, you have to, do, you have to challenge God. Challenge him like real stuff, like I did. It's like, God, if you want me to be here, show me real. So I studied, I did my own work, prepared for my audition. I was really well prepared. but. There's always possibility of not getting in, right? So I got into, I go to Leeds, 
they say to me, oh no, we'll, we'll let you know. I did my auditions for university. And they say, no, no, uh, we'll let you know in a week time, or like we do to all the students. I come to Birmingham. I don't know what you guys got up here, but there's big God over here. <laughs> God moves over here like I haven't seen it before. It's a very spiritual city. It's a lot of churches around. Very weird ones, very good ones. Yeah. Got all the names you can give for those. Anyway, I challenge God and I come to Birmingham. I do an audition. I play my ass off, sorry. But I played because I really wanted that. You remember the guys in Leeds, they said, we'll let you know in a week time. In Birmingham, I finished my audition and the guy said to me, Raphael, listen, this is God, yeah? Raphael, there's no doubt you have a place in here. Feel free to come over. <laughs> and I walk, the, I walk out the, the room and I say, if this is not God, what does that? I come down in September. I come down in September and by January I get a call from a Patrick White, to the bassist, which happens to know someone I know. Him. How was that? How is that possible? He you knows someone I know over there. How is that possible? That's God, man. He calls me and say, oh, there's this Grammy gospel artist coming to Birmingham. And Kirk Whalen. That was insane. Kirk Whalen is like top star, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. And he asked me, have you bought the ticket? I said, no. Don't buy the ticket. I said, why not? Because he is a big star. I've been listening to his CD since I was 10 years old, so that's how big he is. And he said, you're going to play with him? And I said, nah, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. That is not right. Trust me, I was there. I was playing next to that guy, right? Man, if you don't believe in God, you better stop playing because these worlds are getting really crazy, man. I, I just want to die, man, because so much stuff going on. <laughs> trust me, man, trust me. God has been raining blessings over my life like I never did before. I've played, I've been put at a, amongst big artists, having stuff that happens to no one. But I'm telling you, that's not just an occasion that happens to people that put their lives into God. If you want your life to be fulfilled, really fulfilled, and I don't go to church just to lay you but if you want your life to be fulfilled, challenge him and find your dream and spend every day of your life going after that dream. Because I am the proof that dreams are possible no matter what that dream is. Everyone in my family said to me, you're going to have to study in Birmingham. Come on. You're going to study in a big university. Trust me, it's all possible. Sorry. I just thought it was insightful. That was it. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, this was a song me and Kurt Whelan played back in 2014. And I'm telling you, that was. If you don't believe in God, just trust me. Trust me. I'm the proof of that.
Thank you very much. I hope that was good for you and good.